Hello, everybody. Milk's here in front of the camera. Monaco behind the camera. Yep. And what I have here for you is our organic modeling compounds lab. In front of it looks like, whoops, this. Wow, that's a lot, mister. That's all right, a little background knowledge in case you start to get confused. Yeah, these are actually all the naming rules for everything. So yeah. it'll, if you need a little bit of a review at this point, you're, here it is. If you don't need it, we're moving right on. This is the back of the first page. Yours is Video pre-lab, and this is where you start to be writing. And this is what I want you to write first. Black is carbon. Okay. Yep. Yellow is hydrogen. Yep. Red is oxygen. Now I'm not writing any of this. I'm just saying it. At this point, I think you can. I know you know how to spell it. Blue is nitrogen. How about these three? These are halides. Notice they're about the same size. They all make one bond. I'm going to say green defaults to chlorine. Yep. And then you can choose on the other two, but I don't think we're going to come across any bromine, iodine, or fluorine. No. Not in this lab. Not in this lab. But if you were to in this kit somewhere down the road, that would be it. So these are halogens. Those are the halides, yeah. Mm -hmm. Halogens. So next piece, bonding. Whether it's a long wooden or a short one, uh, Monaco and I don't care. What we'd like you to do is be consistent. Mm -hmm. But what these wooden ones represent are single bonds. They are rigid, they don't move. So single bonds, whenever you come across a single bond, you use something like this. Here, I'll give you an example. You can take carbon and bond it to hydrogen. Kind of like a Lego set, an erector it's set. Very much like, this is carbon Legos. Okay, this is, or carbon Legos, this is chemistry Legos, I mean. Yeah. Right, so now here's the fun ones. These metal guys, these guys bent. These are for double and triple bonds. So you want to zoom in here. I'm going to put one together for you real quick. I can slide two bonds into one carbon and then double bond that to another carbon. All right, one more time. Let's see that again. So that, that went quick. It went too quick? No, Sorry. it's fine. All right, well, I'm pretty fast. Here we go. So carbon with two bonds. And I'm going to double bond it to another carbon. Now I have an ene. An alkene, uh, an alkene. Right, and I can actually add a triple bond on if I'd like and turn this into an ine. An alkyne. An alkyne. Okay, mm. good. Cool. So here's the basic rules you have for the lab. If there's a hole in the ball, that's like a lone electron. So however many holes there are in the ball, that's how many bonds it's going to make. Carbon's got four holes, makes four bonds. Hydrogen and the halides, one hole, one bond. Oxygen, two holes, makes two bonds. Nitrogen, three holes, makes three bonds. Okay. When you put together a molecule, all the holes must be filled with bonds. There must be no hanging bonds with nothing on it. You do that, and you've got all the, everything set. So I'm going to go ahead and model this guy right here for you. That one? How about let's start with something simple like water? Oh, my gosh. Because <laughs> it's not on the lab. Okay. Okay. H2O. H, two H's, and an O. H2O. I need two bonds. I'm going to try, I'm going to keep them both short. Because Monaco told me if I'm going to use short bonds, keep with short bonds. There's an oxygen bonded to two hydrogens. And look, that bent shape that we showed you before is legitimate. Right. And it doesn't matter now if I rotate it this way, this way, this way, this way. Now we can see that those rotations that we did on the board when we were talking about these guys actually exist. When I rotate it, did I change anything? Nope. Same number of hard hydrogens, same number of oxygens. I didn't break any bonds. Cool. So that's an inorganic molecule because it doesn't contain carbon. Okay. But now we're going to so, show and see a little more complex one. This one. Yeah. No. Right. So I see four carbons with a double bond in the middle. Mm -hmm. So let me do that. Four carbons or a double bond in the middle. So this double line here is this double bond. Is the two metals here. Yeah, the two metal springy guys. Mm -hmm. And I got a single bonded carbon on either end. So let's do that. And so he just made his backbone. One carbon, single wooden boat dowel, another carbon, the metal double bond, carbon, single. So that was his backbone. And now I'm gonna start filling in with hydrogens like it shows me. Fill everything else in with hydrogen, yep. And four more. Boom, boom, boom. And this bad boy is 
just about. Oh, I need more than four, don't I? I need a, I need a six. Yeah. That's all right. I'll get there. C four, H, eight. Because it's a so that's the one end. Okay. Okay. So now what you're going to do when you do this lab, you're going to see you have to build, draw, and name. I would do one or two of them at a time before you call Milks or Monica over. And then we're going to actually take your model, because you haven't broke it down yet. We're going to take your model, and we're going to figure out what the name is ourselves based on the model. And if that matches what you got on your paper and what you're supposed to have, then we're going to sign. Mm -hmm. Okay, your lab's done when we've signed for every piece on the lab. Now you're going to have to make some functional groups too. There we go. So this was just an alkene type hydrocarbon. True. So the first bunch of these are pretty straightforward. Alkanes, some alkenes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes we give you the formula. See, so here's where we're going to sign. You're going to name the thing and you're going to draw it. You're going to draw it. It doesn't need to be drawn three-dimensional. It needs to be drawn just how you did in your practice packet. Mm -hmm. Okay, the structural formulas. Okay, here we get into second page. We get into side chains. Side chains with double bonds, a little bit of isomers. It's not until the third page that we get into the actual functional groups where we add hydrogen and nitrogen. So at this point in the game, if you haven't watched these videos, it's a challenge. If you want to go for it, go for it. Otherwise, this is where you can lay off the lab for a little bit, put it in your folder, and wait till you're done with either the functional groups pogo or watch the functional groups homework and done some practice to get good at those particular forms. or if you're like a puzzle type person like myself go ra grab reference table r yeah i mean you, and if try you, and figure out the patterns that exist if you can if you can handle the challenge i'm all for that do it but other than that that's it we're anything done. else to add no it's it pretty easy so we're not actually in the lab for this lab nope and there's no actual cei Nope. Because we just want you to use your imagination and construct two molecules of you, your own design. That were not in the lab previously. Yeah. That's the key there. And then do it again that contain a functional group of your liking. There you go. So, so you guys get to have a little bit of fun. See you later, Mr. Milks. See ya.